everyone. In this Tips by Chris video, we're going to teach you how to change your font size and font style on a WordPress blog. It's a common frustration that I hear all the time where people are trying to figure out why can't they just change the size of a font or the style of a font uh, that they're typing in in a WordPress post or blog. And there actually is a very simple solution to doing that. So what I'd like you to do is go and log in to your admin panel. And once you've logged in, we're simply going to install a very simple plugin that will allow you to do exactly that of changing your font size and your font style. Once you're logged into your uh, administrative dashboard, we're going to simply click on plugins and go to add new. And once you're here, you're going to be searching for tiny MCE. And this plugin here is called Ultimate Tiny MCE, and that's what you'll be installing. Now, just a word of advice always back up your blog completely before installing any plugin. Because plugins can break your blog, and once they break it, there are times where it's unrecoverable whatsoever. So protect yourself, make sure that you do a complete backup. I use a tool called WP Twin that um, works very well, and you can get that tool at at tipsbychris.com slash wptwin and that will take you directly to the, the page to purchase that tool. It is the most valuable tool I have in all my software that I've ever bought. Uh, so again, before you install any plugin or even before you ever do an update, always back up your blog because if you've done years worth of work and you lose just because of a plugin, uh, it can be devastating. So uh, don't say you don't have been warned. I'm going to tell you right now, make sure, like I said, that you always do backups. And you should be doing it anyway because WordPress is vulnerable to hacks, uh, as we've seen in the past. Uh, the plugin, again, that you're going to be using is T Ultimate Tiny MCE, and it's by Josh Loeb. I always like to check the details of any plugin before I install it. This here tells me that it's been downloaded 1.4 million times, and it still has a rating of four and three quarter star uh, average rating which is phenomenal um, I also like to usually take a look at the screenshots and how the installation works um, but during this video you'll be able to see all of that here so from here you can click on the install now or if you decided not to uh, go to the details you'll also have an install button that's next to the plugin um, listing here once this screen appears here in front of you you can simply click on activate plugin and the plugin installs and you can tell because here on the bottom left now you have an ultimate tiny MCE add addition to your menu bar on the left by clicking on settings you can now adjust the settings that you want to put in now these two at the top are the two most common ones and these are the ones that will uh, adjust your font you can do your font family and your font size you add these two here make sure that they're checked I like to put them in row one, you can put them in row two, or you can even create more rows. I like to leave them on row one. And if there's anything else that you'd want to paste, you can also paste in and click on these to add to the uh, shortcut bar. Click on the update buttons option once you're there. These are the only two I'm adding in. And at this point, what I want to do is now go to all my posts and I'm going to edit. This is a brand new blog that I'm about to start, so it's a great uh, teaching tool. But I'm basically going to edit the hello world. There's already a sentence put in for me. There's already a header here. But let's say I wanted to say welcome to WordPress in a different font. Now I have this here because the tiny MCE, ultimate tiny MCE plugin added this. And let's say I wanted to make it a different Times New Roman and say this is your first post. I wanted to enlarge this to maybe a 20 font and then I want to maybe change this to a 44 and a different font family and now I have all my differences here and what you'd notice is all this plugin does is add the code your span style codes to make the differences so here it says font size has been to 20 for this is your first post and it changed the font size to 44 plus the family to edit or delete in this section here we can simply publish this and update it once it updates we'll go to the site and we'll notice that the changes have been made in the post right on the page so we have a different font here for welcome to WordPress 
different size, this is your first post, and a different size and font here. And that is simply how you can make the changes to font sizes and styles uh, right on your screen. It's a simple plugin like again Ultimate Tiny MC. Again, another word of advice, please be sure you back up your blogs before installing any plugin. Plugins can break your blogs and you should be backing them up anyway. And again, you can get that at tipsbychris.com slash WP Twin. And that'll give you and you can also use the link on the right hand side that'll take you to the WP Twin site where you can purchase that uh, tool and it has tutorial videos on how to use it. It's very easy and it is the most valuable tool that I have ever purchased and I use it almost weekly to make sure I have everything backed up with uh, nice and safe every time I do adjustments. I hope you like this Tips by Chris video. Click like right below the video if you like this video and subscribe to this channel and you'll see more videos on how to do tutorial how to do things on WordPress tutorials by tipsbychris.com. Thanks for visiting and have a great day.